Hello, welcome to Prezium Technologies. I'm Venkat. This is part 35, Multiple Class Inheritance Using Interfaces. In C Sharp, we know that we don't have support for multiple class inheritance. However, it's possible using interfaces indirectly. Let's look at an example. Let's say I have an interface IA. Interface IA. And in this interface, I'm going to have a method called a method. And we have a class called a, which is going to implement ia interface. OK. So public void a method. So our class is implementing that method. So let's just say console.writeline a. So this just prints that letter a. Now I'm going to have another set of an interface and a class. And this time we will call that interface as ib. This is the second interface. And the class we are going to call it as class b. And that's going to inherit from IB interface and since this is an IB interface we will say B method so our class is overriding that B method so we'll just say B so now if you look at the code until now it's pretty simple we have one interface a class implementing that interface similarly another interface and another class implementing that interface now let's create another class class AB. Now this class is going to have the capabilities of both A and B and that's what multiple inheritance tries to achieve and we're going to do that using interfaces. Okay now if we try to do this class AB is going to inherit from class A and class B and if we try to compile this code you know C sharp will not allow us to do that. It will give us a compiler error stating that class AB cannot have multiple base classes A and B. So how can we do that then? From inheritance concepts, we know that you know a class can inherit from multiple interfaces at the same time. So instead of saying inherit from class A and B at the same time, we can say inherit from interface IA and interface IB. Okay, both of these interfaces. And we know that both of these interfaces are being implemented by class A and class B respectively. Okay, now if your class AB inherits from both IA and IB, then your class has to provide implementation for both of the methods, A method and B method. Okay, so public. Let's go ahead and do that. So let's say this one is A method and this is B method. Okay, but however, you don't have to provide your implementation there. Since class A and class B have already implemented them, what you can do is you can make use of those implementations. So you can say A A is equal to new A and similarly B Now what you can do is you can call in the method A dot a method so you don't have to provide the implementation again you just use the implementation provided by the a class and b class respectively in a method and b method so b dot b method that's it so now this class ab has got the functionality of class a which is a method and functionality of class b which is nothing but b method but now in our class we are not providing the implementation we are using the implementation provided by the respective a and b classes in those respective a and b methods all right now how to use this so if somebody wants to use the features of both class ab what they can do is they can create an instance of class ab and now they will be in a position to call both a and b methods so ab dot have the a method and similarly ab dot b method so now if we go ahead and run this we should get a and b both the capabilities using this base class i mean using this class ab 
So we are able to achieve multiple class inheritance, not through using the classes directly, but using the interfaces. So if you look at this, this is exactly the code that we have seen. We have a set of interface and a class, similarly another set of interface and a class. Okay, this class implements that method and this class implements that method. And what we are doing here is class AB, instead of making it inherit from class A and B at the same time, we are making it inherit from class, uh, I mean interface A and interface B. And that's possible in C sharp. A class can inherit from multiple interfaces at the same time, but not multiple classes. And then within that class, we are not re-implementing the A method and B method. Instead, we are using the implementation provided by class A and class B by creating instances of those classes and invoking the A method and B method on their respective objects, which gives us, you know, the effect of multiple class inheritance, but using interfaces. And in the main method, you see that you, you create an instance of class AB and invoke the A method and B method. Okay, so that's how we achieve multiple class inheritance using interfaces in C sharp. On this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET and C sharp interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.